Welcome back to the Calculus 1. We're still in Chapter 0, the preliminaries. We are in Module 1.3, homework number 3. We're working on question 2D. The solutions are 0.75 kilograms per month and 0 0.40 kilograms per month. Okay, let's go ahead and see how we get those values. So in the previous problems, we had been working on an average rate of change. Here, we're looking for an instantaneous rate of change. Okay, so uh, we're looking for a rate of change at a single point. Now, how are we going to get that? Well, for this problem where we don't have a function, what we're going to do is we're going to find the point that associates 12 months on the graph, and we're going to do our best to eyeball in a tangent line. If you have a straight edge or something, go ahead and use it. It's not that big of a deal. It's the process, though, that's important here. So, what we need from this tangent line is its slope. Because the slope of that tangent line tells us exactly how fast the baby's weight is changing at that exact moment in time. So the tangent line gives us an exact or an instantaneous rate of change, whereas the secant line gives us an average rate of change. So what I did was I picked another point on the line, on the black line, not the red line. So I picked another point on the tangent line that I drew, and I'm going to use those two points as estimates to find the slope. And that slope will be the instanta instantaneous rate of change, which is how fast the baby is gaining weight at that exact moment in time. So it looks like at 12 months, we're at a height of 9. And it looks like my other point over here is at 16 months, and that's at a height of 12. So our change in y over change in x is going to be equal. Well, again, the change in y is the change in the weight. And the change in x is the change in the time. So the change in the weight is, oops, not 16. We want to write 12 there. So 12 minus 9, which is 3, over 16 minus 12, which is 4. So we're taking 12 minus 9 and then 16 minus 12. So we get 3 kilograms per 4 months, which is 0.75 kilograms per 1 month. So our instantaneous rate of change, our instantaneous weight gain, is 0.75 kilograms per month when the child is 12 months old. So now what we want to do is, let's go ahead and erase all that stuff. Let's do the next one. What about at three months? So at three months, we're going to go ahead and find three months on the x-axis. So it looks like it's going to fall right in there. Put a little dot there, and we'll just do our best again to draw a tangent line through it. If your tangent line has a little bit different slope, that's fine, because again, we're estimating. So we'll grab a second point on this on this line as well. The height at 3 looks like it's 3. So we have one point. Now when we grab our second point, let's use 8 because it's, it's a nice value over here. And it looks like that guy over at 8 is maybe at a height of 5. I go over. Yeah, it looks like probably 5. So now the rest is just computation. Our change in our weight over our change in our time. Well, the change in the weight is from 5 to 3, which is 2. So we increase by 2 kilograms over a time period of 5 months, which is 8 minus 3. So we've got 2 kilograms over 5 months, which reduces to 0.40 kilograms per month.